The Northwest Government and the management of the Mabato Palms Hotel in Mahikeng are briefing the media following this morning's fire. Let's take you live to that. Waiting the customers and for looking after them. I'm quite sure that not everything went perfect, but I know the team did their best and we did a great job. Um, I think also just important to say thank you to the police, thank you to the fire chief and the fire department. Uh, the, the, the teams were fantastic and I think things could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for the, the help and the support of the local services. So thank you very much for that. As far as Piamat is concerned, it's, it's a very difficult position to be in. Like I said, our first objective was to make sure that people were safe. And I, as I said, I'm very happy to report people are safe. As far as the process going forward, I understand that, uh, the, that the building is subject to a formal investigation through the police, which is normal routine protocol that has to happen. I'm sure they will comment shortly. Um, and once we have access to the building again, we will start our own, we'll start our own internal investigation. Um, obviously, we have to talk to insurers. We have to get engineers on site to look at the extent of the damage. And then from there, we can figure out the plan going forwards. Uh, the other important thing just to highlight is that we do have, for our employees and our guests, we do have counselling available. Um, so, at LES, you'll be talking to people to see if anybody requires counselling. And ultimately, I have picked up that some people have lost, well, they've lost everything. They've lost their clothes, they've lost their cell phones in the fire that happened. And Piemont is more than happy to talk to people and find out what losses they've had and reimburse them. Um, so, those are, those are important things for Piemont. But uh, ultimately, while I can publicly say thank you for the support of government here and uh, a big thank you to the team for salvaging what could have been far, far worse. Can I ask, uh, do I pause here for questions? Can I hand over? Yeah. Can I hand over to you? You want us to swap places? I think so. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I hope you can all hear me. Uh, following the fire that broke out uh, from this hotel, as the South African Police Service, we want to say we have since taken over the site. As you can see, the site has been cordoned off. Uh, and we are doing this as per our constitutional mandate as you are aware members of the media that it is the responsibility of the police to protect lives and property now when an incident like this happens it is important as the police that we conduct an in-depth investigation so that we don't uh, subject ourselves to speculation but we are able to ascertain what really led to uh, an incident like this one here we have since uh, brought on site our forensic fire investigators who will as a matter of agency uh, conduct an investigation here the honorable premier the MEC and the hotel management has been briefed by us as the police to say uh, what needs to be done. And we have given our commitment as the police that we will definitely expedite uh, this investigation. You may be aware that over and above uh, conducting a criminal investigation, as the police, we are also the custodian of uh, the Safety Act, Sports and Recreational Events Act. And uh, a hotel is one institution uh, which uh, falls into that category. And therefore, we want to ensure that uh, the safety issues relating to uh, this facility are conducted not only by the police, but also by uh, members of what we call the joints in terms of checking what could have uh, led to the outbreak of the fire and what uh, measures going forward are we going to be putting in place. So as soon as our investigation, uh, preliminary investigation is concluded, uh, members of the media, the general public 
and everybody, including the hotel management, will be uh, informed of what our findings are so that uh, going forward then we are able to uh, put measures in place that would address the situation. Uh, so that is at the moment what I can say from the policing side of view that uh, this is our side now. We are uh, conducting our investigation and therefore as soon as we are done with this uh, media briefing, briefing uh, this will become a no-go area until we have concluded our investigation. And by next week, for sure, uh, our report will be available to say what are our findings. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, General Hassaning and uh, CEO, uh, Mr. Nigel. Um, the Premier has already made uh, input earlier on when he was on site. And we will take questions and then they will be responded to accordingly from uh, different stakeholders that are here today. So we can invite questions from the media. Uh, ENCA, SABC. Uh, those are all right, uh, that was the uh, Premier of uh, the Northwest and uh, the company director at uh, Mabatu Palms Hotel as well as the police just giving an update on this morning's fire at the hotel saying that investigations are underway. We're going to take a quick break.